Hey, Nerdy Sports fan, we're talking NFL Week 11 action. We've got a divisional matchup here with the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the Indianapolis Colts. Very interesting matchup. Mid-season, everything gets goofed up by injuries, people coming back from injury, people going on injury reserve. Um, so it becomes very much how your team deals with those injuries. And the Colts haven't been dealing well. I, I mean, they lost... T.Y. Hilton and Paris Campbell's been out, so a lot of their take-the-top-off-the-defense threat is gone. So teams are able to stack the box a little better against them. Brissett was hurt last week, and not really sure what capacity he's going to be back in in this game, or if he's going to be back. At this point, still listed as um, questionable. Um, I do expect Brissett to play, though. It, it was not supposed to be any sort of long-term injury for him. Um, that being said, how much is really going to change offensively? That You'll add a dimension of a guy who can run around a little bit better and extend plays from the pocket, also run if he needs to. A bit better accuracy than Brian Hoyer has, so... You're definitely getting an upgrade with Brissett back, but because his targets are still out, you know, him being a little more accurate doesn't matter as much if the receivers can't catch it or if they can't break open in the first place. So, very much they're going to be depending on Marlon Mack again. Jacksonville's defense isn't necessarily the highest rated, but... A lot of that's because of inconsistent offensive performance. Um, three and outs being a thing for them. Um, the defense is going to get gassed. It, it happens. It's a natural thing. So how much better is their defense going to play? Considering that we're assuming here Foles will be an upgrade in play from Minshew. Um, is Foles going to be an upgrade in play from Minshew coming back from injury? That's something we haven't answered yet. And this is the game we're going to use to answer that question. Um, the Colts have a very good defense. And it, this isn't exactly the ideal game to come back in, but he's had a couple of weeks of practicing with the first team to prepare for it. I think Jacksonville has this game. I do. Uh, I think Foles will be an upgrade to Minshew's play. I don't think he'll be a fantastic upgrade to Minshew's play. Um, it's going to be marginal, but any marginal increase in play at the quarterback position has ripple effects that go down through the rest of the team. Um, the running game is better when there's more of a threat of passing. Um, the defense is better when they're on the field a little bit less. Even if it's just a couple of minutes in uh, time of possession, that's huge for a defense in the fourth quarter. So, I think Jacksonville is putting things together well. They've been kind of streaky, but it's because they've been using a rookie sixth-round draft pick quarterback. Um, they're going to have more consistency with Foles. And that's why they're putting him back in the lineup, no questions asked. Uh, he wasn't doing bad. He just got hurt. And Gardner Minshew definitely had the worst game of his season just before Nick Foles came back. Um, I'm sure that had a bit to play into their decision to start Foles again, too. Uh, but this is a strong locker room, and they like playing for both guys. I don't see much of a change in the effort from the offense. But again, I do see more consistency coming because a veteran like Foles is going to have more consistency than a rookie like Minshew. Um, the Colts, we, we just got to figure out what they are with these injuries. Um, they really need T.Y. Hilton back. Really need T.Y. Hilton back. He makes a huge difference for this offense. Um, Brissett needs to come back healthy. So, I, again, I expect him to play in this game. I just don't know if he's pushing himself to play. Um, you want guys to be able to tough it out? Sure. 
and this is an important, important matchup if you have playoff aspirations. You've got a lead on this team, and if you come away with a loss, now you're even in a division where, man, it's still up for grabs. So I think this will be a tough home loss for the Colts. They should have beaten both of the last two teams they've played and came away with losses both times. I think they're just in a losing streak, and until they're fully healthy, that may continue. Um, other teams have kind of figured out what to do against them. It's a dogfight. They're a tough team, but if you can tough it out, you, you, there's a formula out there for beating the Colts right now. And I don't think that's going to be lost on Jacksonville's coaching staff or Nick Foles. As far as fantasy football goes, it's very difficult to tell who the primary wide receiver target is going to be for Jacksonville considering a quarterback change. Chark was Minshew's because, well, what reps that Minshew was getting in the preseason, he had a lot of opportunity to throw to Chark. Um, does D.D. Westbrook become more involved in the game plan because Nick Foles is now throwing him the ball? That's an honest question. Um, but I do think the primary beneficiary of Nick Foles coming back is going to be Leonard Fournette. Um, with a little bit more command over the offense, Foles will be audibling out of and into more beneficial plays. So having a veteran that can scan the defense and figure out what the defense is doing and not necessarily an ego-driven guy, I would expect Foles to check into running plays when it's opportunistic and put Leonard Fournette in the position to score and just break off some bigger runs than he has to this point. He's really the safety blanket for Minshew. He's a weapon for Nick Foles. So I do anticipate Leonard Fournette's value to increase significantly. He's not necessarily going to be the best play in this game because the Colts' defense is very good, but he's definitely a start. He's a running back two all day. Um, Chark and Westbrook are risky plays. We don't know who the number one target, who the chemistry-built receiving option is going to be for Foles um, until we really see a couple of weeks' worth of play. Um, I would assume if you're starting anybody from this receiving core, putting Chark out there is the good bet right now because he's been the home run threat to this point in the season. And that's not going to change. It's just a matter of volume of receptions that he gets. So um, he's a high-risk play regardless. More of a wide receiver, three to a flex play. Um, I don't bank on either of these guys to do well for you. From the Colts' standpoint, you really only can bank on starting Marlon Mack. Um, there's not consistent wide receiver threats, receiving threats around the offense. I mean, Jack Doyle got some real good action and a touchdown last week. You can't back on, bank on Jack Doyle. Um, we'll see, but I leave all the receiving targets for Indianapolis on the bench because you don't really know who's going to get it, and you want something more consistent than that if you can. Um, I would start Jacksonville's uh, I, defense. I would risk that in this game. I think defense travels better than offense does, and they're going to need their defense to step up. If Brissett's not 100%, he's an easy target for this defensive line, and Calais Campbell will feast on that man. So um, I would put a risk out there and throw in Jacksonville's defense. Uh, they've been playing better of late, and this is the kind of game they're going to get up for. Um, as far as the spread goes... Uh, there isn't one out there right now because of the Brissett situation and because of Nick Foles coming back from injury. Um, I've got the Jaguars by three in this. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting, and it's going to change the dynamic of the playoff race going forward, whatever happens in this game. So I really like the idea of watching this game to completion because it's a very important game on the schedule. That's what I have for this one. Hit up the rest of the videos for more fantasy football advice, and uh, check out the Nerdy Sports Fan Weekly for just general league news.